The Rupert Barn in St Pauli, Hamburg, has changed from a romantic old seaport to a den of gambling, sex and alcohol. During the day, it's an unassuming place. For many children, it's also the route to school. As it is for Vivian and Kamal. St. Pauli is one of the poorest areas in Germany. Cheap rents have attracted a lot of foreigners and immigrants. A hundred metres from the Reaper Barn, the boarding house of Friedrichstrasse School is nestled amongst the houses. The multicoloured walls reflect the cosmopolitan nature of the area. More than 70% of the children at this school have another mother tongue than German. Children in St. Pauli are on the whole quite poor. And maybe their parents are unemployed or they're living on social benefits or their parents aren't very well educated. There's a number of parents who are illiterate. I don't have a number in my head, but it's worse amongst the Roma children. The school has embraced such challenges and come up with creative solutions. During the lunch break, Turkish Ebru and Zia dance to hip-hop. The programme is called Youth for Youth and is by all measures a roaring success. Ebru was considered difficult and unruly. Since he was given responsibilities, he's disproved all of the first impressions. The big success here, though, is the student company. It works in two areas. For the past couple of years, the children in classes seven to nine cook for each other. Each day, it's a different class. What are you eating? Is it tasty? Yes. Fish burger. It's tasty. The students have a strong tradition of practical education and, of course, we have a wonderful building in an attractive place with views of the port. And it inspires the children. They think we can do more. We've built a project here where the children learn to work and get their bearings in Germany. And it's great that the children not only learn practical skills, familiarise themselves with information and work as part of a team, and just generally learn, but they also develop a respect for work. Today is a big day. This evening there's a birthday party and the children have to cater for 80 guests. Ten starters, two soups, four mains and seven desserts are lined up for the menu. Gina had many problems at school. She was there when it opened. Now she's graduated and got a place on a training scheme. I made lots of contacts and just developed loads. What's your job? I'm Freddie Baker. For many German families, the high percentage of immigrants in São Paulo is why they send their children to school. We deliberately put our children to school here because we wanted to live in St. Pauli and we wanted to show our children what life is really like. 
One of our sons had 17 different nationalities in his class. Uh, that wasn't here, that was at another school in St. Pauli. We think it's good and healthy because we live in a multicultural society. And so children should experience that in a school, which is partially protected, and they'll be ready for the society that confronts them when they graduate. Roma Bielent has already forged a career as a cook, but he still comes back to the student company, even though there's only one expenses allowance. I think I owe the school something. A bit of knowledge, a bit of cooking skill. I want to give that back to the school and the students. Roma children are a key part of the student company. As many as 50% of the pupils involved are Roma. They've learnt sociability and festival celebrations from their families, and here they feel supported by rigid structure and rules. Im Prinzip can I say es gibt einige, die unserer Kultur and unserer There are a few that have already adopted our culture and lifestyle. And then when they come here, they're just taking the last step to help them assimilate into this society in the future. And then there are others who I would say perhaps need one or two more generations before they might totally be part of society here. The ones who are hardest to integrate are the Roma because they feel like their own lifestyle and culture are threatened by the school because the children end up cleverer than their own parents and because they're afraid, perhaps rightly so, that the more they integrate into this society, the more their own values will be lost. Even in normal school hours, the school looks for ways to integrate the children. Many children find it difficult learning a third language, such as English. Vivian, from Hamburg, finds it a little easier than the rest. Friend Kamal comes from a Serbian Roma family. He takes us back to his house. On the way, he shows us one of his favourite places, at the harbour. Here, under the palms, he often daydreams about the future. There's little time for that at home. Kamal's mother lives with her five children in a small rented flat. The family earns around 700 euros a month, including social benefits. The father died nine years ago from cancer. In August, I want to go and get a job working as a lighting technician for Procon. That's what I really want to do. Why aren't you doing it now? Because I first have to get my German nationality and then I have to complete my education. Like others at the school, Kamal sits divided between his own culture and traditions and a modern meritocratic society. Kamal will almost certainly take German citizenship at some point. Kamal's mother ekes out a living using the ancient gypsy art of card reading. But they have to be the right cards. These are gypsy cards. I don't really use tarot cards. If I use them, I get a headache or feel bad. So that's no good. But when I use these cards, no matter what stresses and uh, whatever else I have, all the stress goes away. In the school kitchens, everything is almost ready. Just the fruit salad is yet to be finished off. Then the team can bring the delicious banquet to the canteen. I'm full of respect for the foreign children, or the immigrant children. 
Many of them are highly gifted. They can converse in their own language, but many of them can speak German better than the German children. That's potentially very useful. They're our future. It's very important Germany becomes a multicultural country. Weil das ist unsere Zukunft. Wir sind darauf angewiesen in Deutschland, dass wir ein Einwanderungsland sind. Denn sonst gibt es uns irgendwann nicht mehr. In the lovingly prepared festival hall, another group are preparing their final touches. The piano tuner is almost finished. Tonight the discord will be gone, but into the future they may still remain. The situation is tense these days because schools have to maintain a certain educational standard. And if they don't achieve it, they might be closed down, and schools often are threatened with closure. This is one of the concerns these schools have. The other is that class sizes are often really big, from 25 to 27 children per class. And with classes that size, it is difficult, if not impossible, to get good results. On the night, everything goes like a dream. The Elba twinkling in the evening light makes a stunning backdrop. Two boys from the fifth class, Omar from Cuba and Turkish boy Tana, play a serenade for the guests. A few months ago, the school secured sponsorship for the violinists. Everyone in the school company plays their part and with enthusiasm. Gina hands out wine. Vivian serves the food and Kamal waits on the tables. For today, it's a recital that hits all the right notes.